Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. <laughs> Hi, says my dog. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome. Welcome back. If you are completely new, hello, I'm Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. And today is an a special day because it's a collaboration day. I love collaborations. I love collaborations. Let me tell you what, because I always tap into, let's say, um, it's kind of expanding energy. It's like, um, of course, you know, my, I will introduce obviously the, you know, the amazing talent that is with me today, but it's about a, your energy get expanded, you know, obviously because you're reaching more people and you're connecting, you know, one tribe with the other tribe. So it's that element there on the collaboration that where you connect tribes, literally, that is super, super cool to do. And uh, it's something that I really, really uh, love because I get, uh, I get into exploring, you know, <laughs> other tribes. <laughs> and we are all connected anyway, but you know what I mean? So the topic, the collaboration, and the person that is uh, together with me, she is amazing. It's called Mistress of Divination, uh, or MD for the short version. And uh, when I found her channel, literally I was amazed about the, the, the maturity, you know? This is like a definitely MD is an old soul, starseed, you name it, no? But she is so, so deep, so, so deep. The way that she communicates the message is very, um, very profound, very profound. So I love MD. Her channel is amazing. She's also focused a lot on self-growth and, uh, you know, similar, similar to me in the sense, uh, you know, that we are here for soul evolution, no? So we are connected by that, definitely, by soul evolution. Purpose. <laughs> okay, so the topic is, because we are in October season and it's transformation season, it's a Scorpio season, the topic is about transformation. So MD is going to, uh, is going to answer what is the transformation that is happening for you, uh, all about this transformation. And I'm going to um, answer what are the blessings coming after this transformation. There is no blessings if there is no change. Change always implies, let's say, I will say, I will say a loss and a win. Okay? Uh, and losing is okay. There is nothing nothing, uh, let's say, um, uh, worrying in losing. And the sun is coming down and I'm going to go. There is nothing, nothing to worry in losing. Because when you lose, you win. I mean, it's like balance. It's the yin and the yang. It's like uh, fear and hope. The important thing is that when you see your blessing, you tap into that energy that allow you to grow and allow you to move forward and allow you to evolve. Bottom line, we're all here in a journey of evolution, okay? We're not here to be the same as we were before. <laughs> you know that, no? If we were all the same over and over, I mean, that's, that's not good. Okay, so what are the blessings coming after this transformation? I will have four piles. I will show you the piles in a minute. Please check on MD video. It will be amazing. We are launching this video on the 11-10-2022 for obvious reasons. It's 11-01-0022. And <laughs> it's divinely guided, what I can say. It's divinely guided and it's about to bring to you the message that you need 
to transform you for the best version of you. I'm very, I'm very philosophical this morning, eh? I must say. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you know me. If you like my intros and you survive my intros, I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to the likes. Thank you to the comments. Thank you to every one of you. And if you come from MD um, uh, video, welcome. I hope we connect more. Thank you so much, MD. I love you so much. You're my soul sister for sure. And I cannot wait to do these piles. See you in a minute. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. Welcome back. Welcome, if you're new. I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to do what you love and for you to ignite the world. Welcome. Okay, if you skip the intro, go back, you know. <laughs> Sorry. I explained everything about this video there, but I'm going to do a quick recap. Today we have a special collaboration and it's with MD, Mistress of Divination. The link to her video will be, uh, you know, on the description box. And she is amazing, soul tribe completely. Uh, I love her, love her style, love how she does uh, readings and the deepness of the message that she grasps. Okay, and uh, I approach her and I say, hey, you want to collaborate with me? And she say, yes, and I'm so delightful to have you here and connect all of us, her tribe, my tribe, all our tribes, okay? <laughs> the topic is transformation. So MD is going to answer what is this transformation about, everything about this transformation, you know, what is this transformation that is coming, coming for you or happening for you? And I'm going to check on after the transformation, what are the blessings that come for you, okay? Um, with change, there is opportunity, okay? And that is the purpose. And also a Scorpio season, season uh, and also a special number, which is the 11-01-2022. This is, I mean, this is what, you're, what, what you really want to hear, basically. <laughs> And I get the vibes that a lot of you want a change. Okay. Anyway, we have four options. Uh, these options are all having, you know, the theme is, is gray, white, and black, you know. I was feeling this color today. Uh, clarity after the darkness. Uh, let's say darkness that is light. <laughs> there is light in the darkness because you can only see the star when it's the evening, no? You cannot see the star during the day. That's beautiful. Okay, we have four options. These four options have a, a bracelet. All these bracelets are on my shop. And today these bracelets are going to be charged with the energy of this reading. So I save these for like uh, up to a week. So if you're interested in any of these bracelets, first come first, it will be charged with the energy of this reading. Okay, I will leave it for one week and then obviously I clean them. And uh, and also another important thing, we are almost about to have full moon now. Um, so very, very important um, connection between this reading and the full moon. Okay, so option number one is the uh, three clear quartz bracelet. This is gorgeous. This is this is one of my favorites. I'm going to say, the dreamy, the dream. No, it's called this tarot. It's called the dreamy moons tarot, and I show you one, one so you can take an idea of the art. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is this is the blessing. The blessing in this particular energy right now is connected to passion, reignited passion. I love it. Option number two, lapis lazuli, of course. The stone of the Egyptian, the stone of the, for me, this is the stone of the third eye. And I love Lapis Lazuli, of course. And this is the mystical, one of my favorites, the mystical tarot. The moon. Well, talking about the full moon, mm -mm, important, important connection on this pile between the full moon that is happening right now, basically, when I'm doing this reading. And, uh, and this blessing. Very interesting. Okay. Intuition as well, obviously, lapis lazuli. 
Option number three is the, um, uh, this is amethyst, the crown chakra. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous bracelet. And this is also another one of my favorites, the Naked Heart Tarot. Ten of Swords. Yes, it's an ending, of course. We're going to talk about the blessing after the transformation. Transformations are typically about change. I like I like it that we're confirming the, the energy. And option number four is the rose quartz. This is the sweet one. I love it. It's, a, it's pinky. It's very nice. And this is the moon child tarot. And I'll show you the first one. Let's see what is in the first one. Wow, shadow work. I love this card. This is a special card in this deck. Full moon again. You know, two cards with the full moon. This is a special card. This is about letting go of the past, going to the future. This is about truly the topic of today. A blessing after a transformation. I love it, eh? Okay. It's calling me. It's calling me to talk. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, MD. I love you. Thank you for letting me do this with you. Check on her video as well. It doesn't matter the order. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can go to her video first, my video first. doesn't matter the order. The message, the goal is that this message will connect. And keep, let me know, because I read every single comment, and I want to know about these connect, connected messages. It, it cheers me up. It makes my day. Thank you so much. See you in a minute. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number one and this gorgeous clear quartz bracelet that is on my Etsy shop, this really will, will charge this uh, bracelet. So if you want it, you know, first call, first serve. <laughs> um, I keep it for like uh, two weeks, something like that. This is your reading. Let's go for it. Today we're going to answer in collaboration with MD, Mistress of Divination. Um, what are the blessings after the transformation? What are the blessings after the transformation? MD is going to answer what are these transformation, and I'm going to answer what is, are the blessings after the transformation. And if you are new, welcome. Uh, I am Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. Three messages for the end. And this is the transformation. I love I love this today because the energy of this deck is so, so different. Each of these decks is from very talented women, okay, an artist, but they have such a different energy. And I love that combination in general. Okay, so what is this transformation about? No, sorry. What? No. What's the transformation? No. What are the blessings after this transformation? <laughs> Healing. Oh, wow. <laughs> what can I say? Wow. Healing. Look at this. Wow. How? How? What an amazing first card for a blessing after transformation is the healing. We need to heal. These are all the stories. She's see, she's like a seven, um, a tattoo or a tapestry in the back of this person, and also the face is like a, a like a, this is like a mannequin. Okay, it's like a mannequin. She also wearing some kind of thing on her head. Wow, this is a healing of a connection, very important connection in your life. There is a boat here which reminds me on the Six of Swords about moving into better waters. But this is about the memories that will be always, you know, you will always carry in your back. So you're healing for, the, for this, you're healing these memories. These memories will become a tapestry in your life. These memories will become flowers. And maybe some of you are doing a tattoo, literally, after this. You know, it's like, a, it's like a testimony, you know, that you have passed the trouble times. Some of you will do a tattoo about this, this storytelling, this situation that you're healing from. And um, it's about relationships. Eh? It's about relationships. It's about... Uh, Wow. It's about the mark that you live in the world. It's not going to be forgotten on the people that you have touched. It's going to be there. That's why you are sewing the memory. Like, uh, whatever you have done, 
you did it with the best intention and the persons that you have touched, okay, are going to heal and are going to, let's say, embrace these memories as flowers, as a blessing, as a blessing. Wow, this is very deep. Okay. Oh, yes. The curse. The blessing is you have break the curse. Literally. You have cut it off. 14 is the, is the temperance currency in the tarot and it's a 5, which is transformation. It's funny because I was thinking of putting 5 cards and I end up putting 4. Okay, so this is definitely uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, I end up with 7 cards. You're breaking the curse, okay? Look at these two cards. They are very different author, nothing to do, you know, one with each other. So, she's mute, but she knows. You see? She's mute. You, you won't be sharing the whole story for a while. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You won't share this, transform, this blessing um, well, this is a blessing. This is what happened after, no? You're not going to be sharing this story for a little bit. You will have balance. You will have temperance. You're not going to share this story to many that very quickly. But this story is will never be forgotten. And this story is going to be healed. And this is going. This story is going to be transmuted in your life. You you don't carry anything, you know. She she's naked here with no tattoo, with nothing. But she leaves the memory in others for those memories to be healed, for those memories to break the curse. You are, you are imprinting souls with a memory that, that will help them to evolve. That's breaking the curse. And I hope you are with me because this is very deep. Of course, I'm connected with MD. MD is very deep. Next one. Wow. Flowers and flowers. You see what I mean? Flower spirit. Number 10 is endings. You see? The healer of the curse. The healer of the memory. Transforming the memory from... Transforming the memories from pain into flowers. Into blessings. Literally. Who doesn't love flowers? For me, flowers are a blessing. I have flowers everywhere, I show you. I have this, this bucket here, and I have a very big, um, okay, let me, let me one second. I have all yellow roses here, okay? All with me. Flowers are a blessing, honestly. There is nothing more gorgeous for me than, than a flower. And the 10, five is the change, Changing the curse and ending the curse. Number 10. And it says spirit, which is light, which is, you know, she is flying. She is, uh, you know, holding this fragile flower, but she doesn't have weight. <laughs> you will feel so light after this. So heal. So refreshed. So much in tune with who you truly are. But you're healing others as well. This is very beautiful. This is like... Um, there is nothing to carry on. It's break. It's, you, you will be broken. This. I mean, you came into the lifetime to do this. I mean, this is a very significant moment in your life. Number three. Look at this deck. Look at this. I will post it there if you want to take a look for your own intuition. It's a snake. A flower, of course. A rose. Uh, more flowers. All about flowers. Uh, a mask, a hand holding the mask with a ring, um, a, a, you know, uh, I forgot the name of this bird uh, that goes flower to flower. I forgot. Hummingbird. Someone, someone dying here. Look at that. Transforming. It's not, it's, it's not that the tra it's not that the blessing will forget the pain. It will transmute the pain. 
from pain to uh, rubies, you know, to flowers, to blessings. This is this is a very clear confirmation. Number three also is the creation. You will tap into an energy of creating a new life for you. It, the snake here is like your life will will transform forever and forever. It's like a, it's a transmutation of the pain to become lighter, to become a blessing, to become to be healed, and also to allow other souls to evolve because it's about breaking the karma. To be honest, eh? Breaking the karma. I mean, this is this is Gosho. I promised that I was going to check. This is a new deck, so I promised I was going to check on the on the meaning. Enter the mystery. And this is done by Lane Love Dalby. It's the Secret Revolution Oracle. It's very feminine energy oracle deck. And I love it. And uh, Divine Mother, belonging here on Earth, safety, security, receiving sustenance, rhythm of cycles of Gaia, being deeply resourced, incarnate existence, homecoming, 3D matter, gravity, holding yourself, rooting to rise. Shine and soar. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't have to comment on that. That's beautiful. Okay. What are your blessings after this change? What are your blessings after this change? The Four of Cups. There will be a point. This is for I'm doing four cards all the time because it's security. There will be security and there will be safety. And this is about you finally take, taking the opportunity that the universe is giving to you. This is you about finally taking the opportunity. This is what you're doing. You're taking the opportunity. Oh, wow. Another four. I'm telling four is a very significant number for you or it's a very important number. 44 also. Is angel, you're protected, you're going to move homes. I'm getting some of you moving moving home, celebrating a new place, uh, starting a new life, celebrating friendships. You know, like um, here I see two sisters. Some of you are going to celebrate with your sister this change. The sister has been very close to you in this in this particular transformation. Okay, and it's a starting new life, and it's a starting happy, and it's a starting safe. It's taking the opportunity the universe gives you. Yeah, look at this. Celebration time. Celebration time. Being happy. Look at the chariot. Wow. Being happy with what you have and accepting the help and celebrating. With a lot of you are going to celebrate with friends, with, uh, you know, with a lot of friends. And the chariot is, there's, there's no stopping of this. Of course, this is a blessing after this happened, this is celebration time, it's a three and a three, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of celebration, I love it. Five of Wands is the struggle, the fight, yeah, when you, when you get this struggle and this fighting, because this fighting, again, the five, the curse, we can put, we can put like this, you know, we can say that this curse because it's a five and a five, and I like this, and this is a three and a three. So we may put it like this. This has numbers? No. But four, four, it's five, five, three, three. This one is about, um, before I talk into this one, this one is about coming together, coming together to sustain to sustain the light, to sustain the truth. Because I don't get the energy of the five of one here. It's more like breaking this curse. Okay, breaking, breaking. For what? For igniting what is true. For igniting what needs to be protected. What needs to be kept. What needs to be always light up. So you're breaking a curse to allow, again, as I said, another souls to evolve, evolve, another souls to heal. And also, you are the warrior of this light. You are the warrior of the truth. As I said, you're not going to share this very soon at the very beginning, but this is about you keeping the light for the world, keeping the light of what is important, okay? And you're going to talk about this because you are going to carry this message 
to others. That's part of your karma. The moon, of course, because we are talking about the full moon is coming in right now. Literally, when I'm doing this uh, this um, this reading, and it came in in the pile selection as well two times. This will be the third time because it was not on this deck. And this is about walking a path of authenticity, walking a path that is unknown as well. It's a new path. It's a new destiny. But you trust. This is a woman that is going giving the back to the past to walk towards the future. What the future will hold for you is something to discover. Okay? But the blessing is the possibility to walk, to leave it behind, to heal, to break the curse, to feel lighter, to feel blessed, to end the drama, the ten, to end, to end what doesn't serve you. Authenticity to your soul. Wow, you finally become authentic. You finally take the opportunity. You finally move forward. You finally walk without not knowing what's going on in the future, but knowing that you are safe. That you have love from friends, from family, and that you are secure where you are. You're not you're not doing this change in a in a in a more let's say in a in an unsafe a ground you're doing this in a with a solid base that's beautiful okay three messages from the universe let it go okay of course relax and release we said that let it go you can always we be kinder to yourself number seven and the chariot two seven two fours two fives uh, two threes Significant numbers, cancer significant, I will say. Um, you always be kinder to yourself. Always think about yourself, channel the energy of the sun. I'm sure you do a lot of meditation under the sun, or maybe you live in a sunny country, I'm getting. Uh, regardless, use, this, use the sun energy. Uh, I mean, like, always pay attention to what you need as well and put you as a first priority no matter what, because this, this process is, 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 is not easy. I am in harmony with nature. Yes, always connect with nature. Always connect with the with the sun. Go outside. Walk barefoot, like barefoot as I do. You know, keep 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 walking this earth because the earth is going to hold you, and the earth is going to help you to break this curse, which you have already broken, and walk a path of healing. and walk a path of authenticity. This is the blessing. The blessing is the healing. Taking the opportunity, breaking the curse, feeling lighter, receiving all these blessings in the shape of a flower, transmuting the old into something new, walking a new path, celebrating with friends, celebrating with, with colleagues, celebrating with the people that is around you, that all are cheering up for you. That's beautiful. And they're celebrating with flowers here and here with the caps, you know, it's a very emotional transformation. And uh, look, the, 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 obviously you chose here three and we have three girls here and we have number three here. It will create a new life for you, but also you have very important two friends here supporting you. I'm thinking, giving you the clarity. Hmm? Um, listen to them. And with that, I'm going to finish the reading here. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. It has been a pleasure. I hope this helped. I hope this, this ignites you. I hope um, you, uh, you know, if you're coming from MD, please subscribe. If you are new, please subscribe, share, comment, like. Uh, this will be charged with this reading. If you want this bracelet, uh, I will hold it for like a week. Um, um, probably 10 days. I will say 10 because I prefer that number. And uh, comment, comment, comment. I read all of them. Uh, and uh, check on MD video, of course. Uh, on the connected uh, messages and let us know it has been a pleasure connecting with you thank you so much for letting me read for you all the best all the best and uh, you can also become a patron if you if you uh, want uh, if you really resonate with uh, with this message and you would like to be part of my mission uh, connecting patron i would love to have you there namaste till the next time Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number two and this beautiful lapis lazuli bracelet, 
which will be charged with this energy and if you want to claim it it will be on my shop for um you know uh, 10 days i will keep the energy of this bracelet towards this reading and uh, first come first serve thank you so much for being here this is a collaboration reading with the only one and only uh, mistress of divination uh, it's amazing i love you her so much thank you so much for letting me do this with you md and this is uh if you're coming from her channel welcome I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. And this is a train car, we're going to leave it there, but I was not planning on doing that, but this is important. Ah. Okay, this is very important. Leo, uh, my fire signs, not only Leo, but this always reminds me of Leo. Of course, because of the lion. Um, uh, I'm going to answer... You know, what are the blessings after this transformation? And the MD video will be about uh, what is this transformation about. Okay, let's check on the blessings. And thank you so much for being here. These decks are all very different. Wow, very significant. Uh, I mean, they're very different uh, energies. But I, you know, it came like that purposely, but huh, that's nothing to do one with the other. Anyway, I love it. The arrow, boom, three. Look at the full moon. A lot of things are happening with the full moon right now because we are in the full moon season and uh, also this could be the sun, no? Hmm? The, the number one blessing that is coming after this transformation is that you are direct, you are in the right direction. It's like the arrow, you know, is, go, is, is, is hitting, is going to the target. So it's determination, it's focus, and it's action. Hmm? Three is the empress, so it's creation. You are very targeted, you are going towards your destiny, and this is the right direction. So the good thing about this, uh, after this transformation, is that the, the first blessing is that you are heading straight to the goal, straight to the outcome that you seek, that you want to create. Very interesting, no? block you were blocked oh wow you were very blocked before because this arrow this arrow is very slim so she she can go through any blockers she these are locks no in the uh, locks uh, wooden locks and there is red here so some of the blockers are financial blockers i would say some of the blockers that you have to do this, uh, to go straight into your target has been financial blockers. But you know what? You became a slim. So this is the feeling that I'm getting. This is the message I'm getting. You became a slim. You left without carrying too much weight. So you can pass through these blockers and keep going. The arrow is going to hit the target and the blockers are going to be missed. That's what I'm going to say. The block, the blocks are going to be missed. And the financial constraints are going to be removed because you don't need that much. That's why we have the strength card. You don't need that much to create the future that you need. You don't need that much. So you thought that you need everything that you have? No, you just need a few things. You need to become lighter to pass through this block and hit the destiny. Very interesting, eh? Change of seasons. Wow, this is an autumn card. Look at that. Well, between a spring and autumn, no? 42 significant number and 24 significant number. That's maybe uh, 4, 5, 6, is 6 also, um, which is balance, harmony. Uh, well, we are going, we just literally changed very recently into autumn. So this is this is the right time. This is the right time. What I'm trying to tell you is that these things happen for you and uh, the blessing is like, uh, you will feel the change. You will feel like, no, the blessing is that the timing, the timing was right. Okay. The arrow became a slim to pass through the block. That happened with the change of seasons. And that is a confirmation or a validation that this was done in the right time. And also the red here is all about the, the, financial, con the financial worries, eh? I'm getting a lot of financial thinking, you know, will I be able to be uh, good by myself? Will I be able to sustain myself? 
uh, if I change? And the answer for me is yes, because you understood that, um, you know, it's just a transition. You don't need that much, you know, because you you just need you, you know what I mean? And and, and, a, and a strength at the soul level. She's wearing a yellow yellow dress, so she will be um, trusting in her own talent to make this, you know, this arrow pass through this. She will trust in her own talent, in her ability to create, because the yellow is a solar pressure chakra, which is where we have the creativity. And the last one, 46. Wow. Again, age. Between 42 and 46, significant things happen for you. Okay. Uh, this is a 64 as well. 94. I'm seeing 94. It's a 10. It's, a, it's an ending. It's a change. It's a, well, it's a complete change. We have butterflies everywhere. This is a diamond, a raw diamond in the middle, a sparkling light and a sparkling change. This transformation, it is at the core of your DNA, I will say. And, and instead of being dramatic, it's being a bless. You know what I mean? Because all these beautiful butterflies uh, and this beautiful, you know, diamond, star diamond here is... It's all the potential, all the things that you trust. You trust yourself. You trust your your talent. As I'm saying, you know that from there, you can build a game. You don't need to carry everything. You just go. To, you need to be a slim to pass through the locks, and then everything is going to flow. The change is going to flow. The diamond is going to explode. The diamond being you, you know, your talents are going to be uh, providing security for you and. Uh, I wanted to see the bottom here. Security for you and uh, and determination. The king of swords at the end. Someone of air sign is very significant in your life for you to make this change. Okay, let's see. What are the blessings coming after this change? Look how fast it's going to happen. It's an eight and an eight. It's a transformation. It's an infinite transformation in the sense that this is going to happen. This is happening right now, okay? Right now. But the Eight of Wands and the Strength, which is number eight, and the colors are very autumn colors. And this is autumn, as I said at the beginning. So this is autumn season in uh, in England. So this is happening as we speak. And um, uh, eight, eight, give me the idea of an infinite transformation on at a soul level. Something that you will carry, your soul will carry forever. Yes, it's, again, the Five of Pentacles is the only things that worry you to make the move were financial. Financial. Thinking that you don't have enough. That must change. And you don't need that much. You just need to become a slim. And you will pass through the challenge, the blockers. Okay? You don't need that much. You just need you. Very significant, eh? Very significant message here. Yeah, this is the truth source. It's the moment of the decision, no? This this thing only takes one decision. One decision. Either you live, as, as, I mean, with little things, and you go, or you stay and you worry forever. Not forever, because obviously it's always an evolution, but um, it was a very hard decision. And again, the bird from the King of Swords is coming here to talk with you. You know, this is you and talking with this King of Swords that is helping you to make the call. You're going to, you, you, I mean, you're going to remove the blockers. Seven of Swords. Wow. This seven of swords is very interesting because this seven of I I don't this is my worst card in the whole tarot deck. Okay, the seven of swords is, you know, when you have fear to something, I have fear to the seven of swords. I don't like the seven of swords. It's the worst card ever because it's about the tra the 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 uh, tra uh, traición. Is try uh, I don't know in English how to say is traición. Uh, like yes, it's like. Uh, 
mischievous, mischievous, no? Okay, but this one it gives me a different vibe because this Seven of Swords is, is uh, you know, is a mermaid with a tail that is flowers and some eggs here. Do you need everything? This is the message for you. Do you need everything? Do you need to hold into the past? Do you need to really hold into the past? And I'm thinking the answer is no. This is quarter, cinco, six, six and seven. You don't need to hold to the past. You need to let it go. Okay? There will be eggs somewhere else. There will be abundance somewhere else. It's all about it's all about your worries, also the mental worries about the the, the money. I mean, not, not the money, the security. No, the security that money gives the security of of the things that you you know, because this is a flower trap. The thing is that if you don't do this, you're cheating to yourself. That's what I'm getting. That's why the seven of swords is like cheating yourself, because the reality is that you are this beautiful diamond here that is. is you know, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. Page of Pentacles. Wow, I love this as a final card because Page of Pentacles is an offer, you know? It's an offer. It starts small, but it's solid. The Page of Pentacles is a solid offer from the universe, from whatever is, is a, 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 in front of you. You will go lighter. You will go with less. You will have less, less money at the very beginning but then you will build up from there you will build up from your talent you will build up from your strength you will build up from your core which is a diamond a diamond can only create diamonds like that star you know creating a sparks of diamond yeah it's beautiful to end with a page of page of pentacle because it's like an offer from the universe it is not small it makes you happy it makes you walk barefoot again is grounded, you know, is healing, and is looking to the future. Because for me, when you look to the right, is the future. When you look to the left, is the is the past. Like this guy, this guy is looking to the left. This woman is 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 kind of looking to the left, but looking to the right. You see the expressions, you see. So it's like these two are looking to the left, where the the this one is knows that there is hope, and this one goes to the future. I love it. Okay, I'm going to read on the 46 because this, uh, this is a new deck and I think it's very interesting. Okay, Cycle of Galactic. Yes, Cycle of Galactic. Reclaiming your sovereign seat of power. Trusting your own inner authority. Yeah, your, your talent. Interdependence. Free will. Dignity. Royalty. Prophecy of the Rainbow Warriors. Collaboration and co-creation, multidimensional visionary leadership, expansion, celebration. I am the one who is stepping through the willing rainbow into my sovereign seat of power and regal, re, regal galactic sovereign, even amidst, amidst a noisy and chaotic world that tries to endlessly dissuade me from my own inner authority. I am a whole and unto myself. You see, never cheat to yourself. Wow. I love it, eh? I love it. They're very deep message. Of course, we're talking about transformation and I'm doing a collaboration with MD, which is very deep. So, oh, and rainbow, talking about rainbow. Here is your rainbow. Gratitude. Appreciate present blessings. Appreciate what you have. Oh my God. More rainbows. Rainbows is magic as well. It's miracles. Oh, 15. Wow. It's a six and a six, you know. And 15, I'm getting some of you is the date of birth. Are you treating your inner child with kindness, patience, and love? When was the last time you felt childlike wonder and joy? Your, your blessing is a feeling of childlike feeling. Like this girl, it is a page. You will feel lighter, you will be happier, you will enjoy simple things in life, you will enjoy, you will be very grateful to life. 
Oh, so cute. I am centered, peaceful, patient, and calm. What else you want? That's the best. Wow. The power this arrow has, which is your inner power, to know what is the target, to aim for the target, to aim for the ultimate goal, okay, which is obviously becoming this, this diamond in the world, in the universe. The power that this arrow has with these two cards here is so strong that it will cross these blockers. It will, uh, it will beat in the decision. It will beat um, cheating yourself. It will beat worries about money. It will beat. And the universe will give you back something to, you know, to evolve after this. And I'm going, honestly, I'm going to put one more card here. No, I say one more card and this is the card that I want. Nine of Cups. All the wish fulfills. That's what I wanted. I wanted to end up with a high note. And that's a high note. Because I feel the high note is after all this dramatic situation. So Nine of Cups. Wish fulfill. The blessings. The rainbows. The magic. The diamond. The spark to the universe is inside of you. Oh, I'm going to cry. <gasps> oh, that's so beautiful. Honestly, I'm going to cry. Okay, my sidekicks, because you chose the lapis lazuli, you have a very good third eye. Thank you so much for being here. If you want the bracelet, please check on my Etsy job and let me know, send me a message, and I will know that it's you. First come, first serve. Thank you to MD for letting me do this reading with you. I love you very much. Uh, thank you for checking on my Patreon. I would love to have you in Patreon. Uh, I do regular pick a cards there with topics that have chosen by you. And thank you for the love. Thank you for the comment. I read every single comment, honestly. And this time is interesting because obviously we want to see how the readings connect. Until the next time, it is a pleasure to help you. Uh, I hope this helps, obviously. I hope this ignites you. I hope this heals. And I hope you shine bright because you are and I'm going to leave this card here because it's the most beautiful card ever you are that star <laughs> namaste till the next time thank you so much hello talented souls if you have chosen pile number three and this beautiful amethyst bracelet that it will be charged with this energy and it will be available for the next 10 days on my shop uh, first time First come asking for this for serve and uh, you should send me a message and I love this bracelet. It's super cute. Um, this is your reading. Uh, if you skip the intro uh, and everything, welcome. I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. If you're back, welcome back. I love you so much. This is a collaboration reading with MD, Mistress of Divination. The link for her video will be below. And we are answering, I am answering, what are the blessings after the transformation? And MD is answering, um, what are these transformation about? Between the two of us, we want to give you all the, let's say, the clues for you to, uh, you know, to, go, to walk through this. Because transformations are not easy. I mean, let's be real. Okay. But there is no blessing. If there is no change. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are message for the end. I don't know why I say that, but it's kind of, you know, weird, but it makes sense. You know? Makes sense. Many paths. Ooh, options, options, options. The blessing is that paths are going to be open for you. Many paths. Not only one. Many. There is a heart at the middle. You're following your heart. You're following your destiny. 34, age. Age. 43 as well. It's a seven. It's a spiritual, spiritual journey. Many opportunities. I'm getting this. This is the vibe of my travelers, my, you know, my multitaskers, my multi-talented. Uh, you're going to get many options. The paths are going to be open for you. I love it. 
Mystery. Oh, wow, yes, the adventurous. I'm telling you, more mystery to discover, more things to explore, more lands to travel, more places to go. There's an eye here in the middle. You want to explore everything, and it was two, 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 two. This reading is going on the 11 2022 This is very significant for you. Listen, you are going into a journey of discovery. These are my researchers, my 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 curious people, the people that really, really need many things, many, many. This is like a, an opportunity to, to kind of evolve into a path of um, discovery, a path of learning, a path of, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of a lot of new learnings. That's the energy I'm getting. Opportunities. Stranded. <laughs> Look at this card. Wow. 44, significant number as well. We said 43 and 44 is between 43 and 44. Some of you, this is happening, but uh, not for everyone, of course, no. But uh, 44 is, uh, is protection, is destiny, is, uh, is very cute. It's very cute. I love this. You know what? Because this is a trip. Again, as I said, you are my traveler tribe, my explorers. Even if you don't travel, let's say physically, you're a traveler in your mind. I mean, you, you are someone that needs to keep going. There is a pause here. There is, uh, you know, putting the anchor somewhere, but there is nowhere. <laughs> there is nothing that, I mean, this is very interesting because it's like, well, a stranded means like you're trapped, no? But for me, this is not trapped. This is about how far you can go, how far you want to go. This is honestly, I'm getting that the paths are going to be open. You're going to remove any, I mean, you in your mind are going to change your mindset and are going to go into discovering more mysteries because this is a, a boat in a tree. That's not real, okay? Um, there is nothing to hold this anchor on. That means that you will keep going. That means that you're not trapped into anything. And uh, there's a theory that you want to prove. There is something with the mind. There is something about proving theories, proving uh, manifestation techniques, uh, proving... Um, what is in your mind is real. I mean, there is something about psychology here. There is something about research, something about AI, AI, no, AI, artificial intelligence, something around um, multiverse. Yeah, you're, you're, you are you you are heading towards this 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 uh, this journey, and it's fun, and it's exciting, and it's. Super interesting for you. Look at that, 17, the star card. Wow. Well, 17, look at this. I, 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 you can pause it. This is a new deck. It's gorgeous. A higher view. A view from the stars. A view from, the, from a detachment. A view from a higher self. Listen, you are, you are in a process of doing something. Uh, there is uh, there is discovering some truths, discovering some mysteries, and you're going to be mega successful with this because the star card and this, I mean the star card for me and this eagle here, uh, seventeen seventeen is one of my favorite numbers. It's a manifestation, to be honest. It's a manifestation. I don't know what are you trying to discover, but I definitely get that it's connected to manifestation some way somehow. Okay, seventeen. Some, some, some truth, some truth, some kind of truth, but will help others, of course, and it's, some, it's a mystery. Well, it's like every, I mean, like, uh, well, I said that on my previous reading, but this is coming again, the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> okay, Aquarian Age, I'm telling you, you are in this, in this energy, and the path will be open for you, and that's the blessing, okay? The Aquarian Age. Freedom to expand, innovation, I said artificial intelligence, inventions, new, new new universes expanding, limited potential, action, direction, wing ones, air sphere, consciousness shift, air element, some of you are air, clarity, beneficial new technologies, soaring to new heights in your life, communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is about you. This is what you're doing. 
you are in the connection between spirituality, technology, okay, and uh, truth, knowledge, okay. So is the knowing, the lessons learned, the the mystery things which is to explore, and is using technology per, perhaps to find out something that is uh, a higher view through tech or I don't know. But anyway, this is what you're trying to prove. You're trying to prove what is unnatural. What is anti natura? What is that is weird? It's a stranded. You're trying to set this ship free. And it doesn't matter if the ship is in a tree or the ship is in the water, it's a mental concept. That's the energy I'm getting with you. Wow, I love your energy. This is super cool, eh? Wow, this is super cool. You, you pick up this one because obviously it's, um, it's the amethyst, the higher knowing. Higher knowing, this is the spirituality. There is a combination here. Of, of technology with spirituality and things like that. Wow. You're going to be successful on this, eh? I'm telling you. The king of cups. A spirit of cups is the king of cups. Yeah, you're going to offer this to the world. This is about you offering this to the world. An offer from you to the universe. Oh, my, I mean, I love your energy. Thank you so much for being here. Magician, of course. Manifestation. What the heck are you doing? Honestly, it's super cool, super interesting. Share. You cannot leave me behind. You cannot leave me here without not knowing or reading something of what you what you are uh, creating. The magician. You see, it's an eye. You have an eye into a target, into something, many paths. You know, multiverse. I said before, multiverse, artificial intelligence. I don't know. It's something super cool. The magician, that's you. The chariot, of course, of course, of course. You have been selected to do this. You have two eyes, which I said, is a combination between technology and spirituality. That's the two heads here. One head is the spirituality, one head is the tech, what is concrete. The tools. You have all the tools to manifest this, this knowing, this mystery, to solve the mystery. You have all the tools. And you're going to create something out of this. That's the offer of the King of Cups. It's not just, let me tell you, it's not just about knowing something. It's about doing something with the knowledge. You see what I mean? There is a difference there. The magician and the chariot. Wow. Too much for Arcana, you see? You have been chosen for doing this, eh? And this is a, this is something that you dream when you were a kid, okay? When you were a kid. And I get a lot of masculine energy here in the sense that it's uh, very action-driven. Six of pentacles. Wow, yes. The balance, pentacles. Wow. Abundance with the fish. Balance. Listen, I'm, I'm there to say some technology to help people that is, let's say, suffer from uh, 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 any kind of disability. Okay, listen, disabilities sometimes are an interpretation, a concept created to uh, put labels, no? I was looking at this video from this girl that she's an, she's an autist and she's talking about autism and is fascinated how she described Thank you so much. I forgot her name. Sorry. I just saw it yesterday. She find a way to really articulate that autism is a way the human explain a different way of processing. Uh, um, well, neurodiverse, no? So the way that the, the neurons and the, the, the brain works, I'm not an expert. Sorry about that. Is different for an autistic person that from a you know person that is not autistic, but that's not a disability. That's simple, and simple way is a a, a different, a diverse way of processing data. So what I'm getting with these six of pentacles and the strand that 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 is like I'm thinking because this is a lot to do with the mental, as I said, maybe your psychology or maybe I mean it could be anything, no a technology, psychology. All combined. But you are helping some preconceptions around being extra around the mental the mental clusters, the, the, the I'm thinking oh, I'm going into too much detail, but you know what I mean? 
some of you need to hear this. What you're doing is to break in this this uh, this free, okay? To you're making a, let's say a, you're creating a new theory, okay? That will set free a lot of people. That is classified in a group of mental disorders, perhaps right now. Okay, this is one line, but this is not for everyone. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is that maybe you're breaking all the manifestation rules about manifesting money because we have six of pentacles. So I'm thinking in the in artificial intelligence for for brokers, artificial intelligence for um, I mean for other stuff. So it could be anything, but my point is, it brings balance and it brings abundance. Ten of pentacles. <laughs> You're going to be very famous for this and very rich for this. This has a also, uh, because we have the King of Cups, is your offer, your soul offer to the universe, okay? This is the, this is the let's say, the purpose uh, card. You're doing this because you love humans, you love humanity, you love to help. That's number one. But because you do it, because you love it, and you are totally my tribe, and you are igniting your talent, you are igniting the world, you're going to receive a lot of money out of this. It's very solid, as I said. It's very solid. The star card, you're going to be known for this. It's like your name will be in a essay, in a, in theories, etc., etc. And if not in the academic world, let's put it that way, your name will be in the economic world. And if not there, will be, your name will be in the psychological uh, forums world. I don't know. But your name, you will be known for this, for this solving this mystery. And I'm getting a lot connected to the brain for many of you, and I'm getting a lot connected to uh, manifestation. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And look at that, what is want to come. Look at what it wants to come. This one I didn't want it. I wanted this one. The sun. And the four of pentacles, yeah. You're ready to share. You're going to share, eh? Okay, share, share, share. Share because you care. <laughs> okay, three final messages from the universe. Stillness, lack of movement. This is gone, eh? This is gone. Ashish and many paths. This is what this transformation is giving you the action towards this. <clears throat> 23, which is a five, is your change. Listen to your spirit, guys. They will show you the way they will show you which exactly is the path and the path there is one that is more prominent because it has a heart follow your heart follow your heart follow your heart and the last one i do not have to prove myself to anyone no 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 you're doing this because it's your soul call and it's your destiny not to prove anyone no one you're doing this because you are a king of cups offering to the world the knowledge the love that you have for finding, solving this mystery is what drives you. And the pause is gone. And the blessing is that you are going to find and sort out this mystery. You have the tools as the magician. You have the power like the chariot. And the chariot always reach destiny. It's like the Caesar. Okay? So, and the Ten of Pentacles, abundance, six of, I mean, you're going to give. The Six of the Pentacles also is giving and receiving. Okay? When you give your cup, meaning you ignite your, your talent, basically. You're giving the cup to the world. You're getting the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting the star. You're sorting out the mystery. I love it. My God. Wow. <sighs> this bracelet is high. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you for checking on MD video and subscribe to her channel as well. Thank you for being here. It has been a pleasure. Become a patron if you're not already. <laughs> I would love you to have my patrons. Come on. And I want to know what you are doing. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I read every single comment. I cannot wait for your comments. Thank you so much. Have an amazing life. Namaste. Till the next time. Hello, talent the souls. If you have chosen pile number four and this beautiful rose quartz uh, bracelet that is very sweet. Okay, this is your reading. Uh, welcome. If you're new, welcome. Uh, <laughs> if you're back, welcome back. 
Uh, I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. This bracelet is going to be charged with the energy of this reading, which where we are going to answer what are the blessings coming after a transformation. It's a collaboration reading with the gorgeous MD, Mistress of Divination, and she will answer, uh, if you have skipped the intro, um, what is about this, this transformation that is happening for you. And uh, again, this bracelet will be in my essay show for the next 10 days. Uh, with this energy, first come, first serve. If you want to claim it, it will be yours. Okay, let's go for it. What are the blessings? This reading has been great. What are the blessings ca coming after your transformation? These are messages for the end. Okay, let's go for it. The medicine wheel. Wow, 35. Age 53, the year your mom was born. <laughs> I'm getting that. <laughs> the medicine wheel. Beautiful. Wow. So the blessing is like um, one of the blessings, there are many. One of the blessings will be that you are understanding how to heal yourself. Is um I get a lot of shamanic energy here because uh, I mean this is the shaman this is the shaman what is it called the mystical shaman oracle deck is very shamanic but not every every card give me shamanic vibes anyway this one in particular give me a lot of shamanic vibes it's like a circle it's like a you know like a, you understand some techniques or even some of you may be a doctors as well or nurse etc so that's very significant as well it's about knowing how to heal. And trusting, trusting in the power of nature, trusting in your spirit animals. You're someone very connected with nature, very connected with animals in particular. Okay? And it's all the elements because we have the, the cheetah, no? Maybe, which is obviously, for me, it's a fire. We have, um, we have the eagle, which is air. We have a, a hummingbird, which is about... I would say cups, <laughs> love. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting these vibes here. Um, and uh, the snake as earth. It's balancing the element. You are uh, be going to be blessed, and also this is a compass. Eh? You're going to be, be blessed with, uh, with knowledge and understanding about how to turn this wheel to make it work for you. How to turn problems to make it work for you and heal. I mean, and not affect you, no? So this is like kind of a protection energy as well. You're getting you're getting knowledge or you're getting very, very much a, a say wiser or evolve as how to um, manage your emotions, manage your no, I mean, yeah. And you're going to pass it on this, eh? I'm getting a lot of energy here, like medicine. You're going to give this healing to others. Mm? Attachment. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a very dramatic uh, card, eh? What she has in the hands? Okay, I need to read what did she mean with this, but let me tell you. Medicine and attachment is healing from the past. It's healing from 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 traps. It's healing from uh, attachment to things that doesn't serve you. Could be people. Could be per, uh, could be people. Could be objects. Could be anything. You are healing from that. You're moving on like like a compass. You're moving out of that. And I'm going to check on this uh, attachment card because it's like a very ugly card. Okay. Let's see what she said. Attachment. We may find ourselves bound unconsciously or by choice to conditions that no longer serve us. Be aware of constraining situations and desires that have long gone unfulfilled. Release expectations and move towards new possibilities. Yes, that's the point. You're healing. You're moving on. You're using your power. You're using your knowledge. You're balancing all the elements you are leaving the past behind. Of course, we are doing a reading about transformation. This is a confirmation that you are definitely going to heal from this 
uh, attachment to heel and you are going in the right, like a compass, in the right direction. Elixir of life. Beautiful. Number 15, which remind me also to the devil card. Okay, so yes, you're releasing the attachment. You're you're going to enjoy life. You're going to look for the future. And she's wearing a necklace. Yeah, she's wearing a necklace. I'm thinking you have some kind of jewelry that belongs to your grand grandmother or something like that that you carry with yourself like a protection uh, all the time. Life will be good with you. The red is the root chakra. You're going to be secure. You're going to be grounded. You're going to be safe. Safety is the most important message here. It will be safe. Oh, wow. 45. I love this card because this card is the main card of this, uh, of the, the, the cover of this deck has this card. We're going to read it. 45. This is like a giving birth. <laughs> a significant number. We have 35 and 45. For some of you, this took like 10 years to come out of this, to enjoy life again, you know? So I'm getting a lot of energy about being independent, being uh, strong in your feet, being uh, rooted, being grounded, and releasing what doesn't serve you and healing yourself and understanding the cycle, understanding where you want to go and giving birth to your true self. Because this is like a, sorry, it's like a vagina and a woman coming out like, a, you know, like a star rebirth and the hummingbird here hummingbird here and there is a paint brush here because you can paint your destiny you can paint whatever you want for your life this is a beautiful card uh, as an oracle card to end uh, you know to finish the the connect the connective energy here so this is good good news for you this is good times this is progress this is this is healing okay i'm going to check on these cards because they're new Okay, 45, the great, yes, rebirth, look at that, rebirth, coming home to your authentic star power, that's you, wow, this also reminds me of the wheel of fortune, no, so the luck is going to turn for you, you're going to leave this attachment behind to feel life again, sacred, revolutionary archetype sacred reconnection the calling homeward comfort innate belonging a spiritual emerge inner blossoming bounty paradise with galactic gateway of the universe Pil pilgrimage to the energetic womb of all creation i am the one who knows that wherever i go there i am Wherever I go is where home is. All the earth is my home. My body is my home. The cosmos is my home. The human family is my kin. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. Fantastic. And also the 15, which is the devil card, is the attachment. So you are releasing this attachment. Is that clear? As clear as that. Okay. The blessing is the attachment is gone. Six of Pentacles, balance. You will have balance, balance. You will give and you will receive. You're giving and you receive. This is out authenticity to your soul. King of Cups, wow, I love this King of Cups. The universe is helping you. This is, this is, you're going to fill your cup fulfilled. Your cup is going to be fulfilled. There is love coming and love going. There is six of pentacles. There is in and out. There is balance. There is unconditional love. The tower, yes. <laughs> okay. Of course, in a in a transformation uh, reading, the, the tower was going to be there, no? I'm surprised the death has not been there. I mean, if you got it to the two, this is a, 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 a duo. <laughs> anyway, destruction, destruction of the attachment, literally. Okay? The attachment is break gone c'est fini forever and forever why because you have chosen self-love you have chosen you simple you have left the devil behind six of wands victory 
success, another six. Another six. Six, six is balance, okay? Uh, I love this card under Elixir of Life, which is a six, sorry. 15 is a six, a six, and a six. Six, six, six. This year is very significant because 2022 is a six. This year is the year. This is a seven and this is a seven. A spiritual, a spiritual evolution. 666, six, six. angelic protection, love, unconditional love, success. Success. In this, in this chain. Success, I mean success. Enjoying life. Whatever you want, you have it. Hmm? And the last one, the Empress. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are giving birth to your Empress. This change, this transformation, is giving birth to the Empress that you are. How beautiful is that? This is a goddess giving birth. This is you being a goddess. <laughs> Again, she has a wheel on the back, which is the medicine. Uh, she connects with nature. Uh, she connects with her, uh, her ability to create because this is a vagina, as I said. So women, we can give birth. So you're giving birth to the best version of yourself, which is the empress. Okay, you hold the light of the world. You can go look at the past and look at the future and be present. It's a beautiful card because I'm getting you can look at the past, at the future, and be present. Today, I'm going to be okay. Today, I'm going to be happy. Today, I'm going to create my life. It's beautiful. Eh? There is a lot of um, there is a lot of power in your energy, a lot of action because we have a king of cups rather than a, the queen, no. And we have the Empress at the end. So you will receive so much love, so much support. Because you are being authentic to yourself and you are choosing you. There is victory in releasing this attachment. Wow. An abundance. As I said, the red, the, red, the, the solid foundation, the solid ground. Wow. I love your reading, eh? I mean, it's very straightforward. Action, as I said, you have a king because you have the action. You're following your cup, yourself. You're following yourself. That's your cup. Action is a man, or say a masculine uh, is action. Awaken the warrior woman within. There is no beginning or end to growth. <laughs> you are forever expanding, number 12. Yes, depend, you know, change is, depends how you see it, like the hangman, no? There is no beginning or no end. There is growth. Again, there is no past and future. There is present only. There is growing. There is, is, is this moment. Beautiful message. And there is a trip coming for you as well. Okay, you're going on holidays or something. I am safe in the universe. All life love and support me. Yes. That's why you can come out as a star. Because you know that you are made of stardust. So you're going to reflect in the outside world who you are. <laughs> That's beautiful. Very poetic. I am safe in the universe. All life loves and supports me. As I said, the balance, the... The unconditional love, the giving and receiving, the success, the, the, the ability to feel, you know, super, super uh, successful where you are. This is great. I love this reading so much. I'm truly grateful for you to let me read for you. Uh, and if you enjoy the reading, please, uh, this is also about unconditional love, which is, I mean, I like it. Eh? This bracelet, uh, Rose Quartz, is about unconditional love, so you choose the right one. Eh? It's very connected, very connected. Congratulations for making this change, okay? I know it was very hard. It's a tower moment. It's an attachment. It's very hard. But you have taken the action. You have understood the healing process. You are uh, choosing yourself. You're giving birth for the to the empress. You're, you you will have success here, and abundance and infinite creativity. That's what I'm getting. Wow! Thank you so much again.
It was beautiful. I, I'm not letting you go. <laughs> it was great to connect with you. Please become a patron. I would love to have you in patron. I do additional pick a card readings there for the people that, uh, you know, want to dig in to, into, you know, more, more specific topics. Um, it's a beautiful uh, group of uh, talented souls that we keep igniting each other. And uh, check out my Etsy shop if you want that. Uh, that bracelet, it will be charged and it will be first come, first serve. Personal rings as well is on my Etsy shop. And uh, I thank you so much for the comments. Thank you for the love. Thank you for letting me do this. Till the next time. Namaste. And don't forget to check an MD video. Okay, Mistress of Divination. She is amazing. Thank you, MD, for letting me do this with you. Namaste. <laughs>